Okay, everybody. We're going to play tours. I'm at my niece's house. Um, anyway, she's got a problem with deer in her yard. And <clears throat> I put a little ladder stand to the side. The house is right here behind me. I mean, right there. Um, they usually come out. I got a little corn pile right down here. When I say down here, I mean almost under me. Can't get much closer. Get more closer, I'll be. I had to put a saddle on the deer. So, and I'm not even saddle hunting. I'm here, I'm hunting, and it's starting to get a little dark. Um, let's see if they come out. Usually come out at dark. They got a few pictures of them. I looked at the pictures that, since I put a new corn pile down there last week. But let me tell you. A nice little sits point in here. He, he's good size. He's decent size. But uh, he got a little small sits point. Kind of wide, but he'll be a good year one day. But she just wants them out of her yard because they're, they're bedding at night right on her septic tank lines. And she don't want problems with coyotes and other things sniffing where they lay all the time. So she just wants them gone. So I figure I'd hunt her yard. And I'm out in the country and more than she is. And I ain't got that problem. I ain't even got woods in my yard. But anyway, she's got the problem, not me. But I'm here. Try to get what I can get. I got the crossbow with me. And uh, let me show you where the corn pile is. You got a little way out there for it now. It's, all the way right there. Yeah, it, that's it. Right. I mean, here's the ladder stand, and a couple steps over, and there's your pile. So, I bury it this close. One, I shouldn't miss. And uh, two. Um, just gonna go through them real quick, so they're gonna probably run a little ways. Let me get quiet and see what happens. See you in a little bit. Here, dear. Come on, dear. Come get this cozy a shot. I'm back in the woods. I don't know where they went to. Oh, 
Well, that didn't take but a second. My arrow is right over there. There. Let's see what we got. Oh boy. Took her long enough to come out, though. There we go. Okay. Now we can go to look for it. Dogs and puppy coming to us. Um, yeah, I saw one. It must have stayed out here for about a minute or so yeah, before it took off running that way. Yeah, ready, and then uh, so I got one loaded here, so just letting you know. So I wasn't sure if you uh, even got a shot off on there or not. Yeah, and I, in a way, I probably should have held off a minute. See your blood. Where's the... Just remember where I'm at when I can tell you. Oh, shit. We got all that blood on here. Oh, how you turn the light on here? Huh? How you turn your light on? It's getting dark. Yeah, turn the light on and... uh. There you go. So she's right here. Yeah, she went over this way. That's what I'm wondering. That's a whole lot of blood there. Kind of stand back at the last spot right here. Right here. Just stand right here. <laughs> Let me uh, and just video me here. <laughs> and uh, just kind of stand at the last spot I see when I point at it. Right here. Got more blood. Right there. That's the last spot I see is right there. 
Alright, here I'm at. Uh, right here. Alright, here. Yeah, just kind of keep that camera on me a little bit. Huh? So we ain't gonna see a whole lot down here. As much. I don't see which one she went from there. I guess you don't have a time trying to get her out of here, that's for sure. Uh, I have a time trying to get out of her here. Get I'm going to take it over there and record her anyway. Uh, this is her. We found her. Yeah, it was daylight when we shot her, but yeah, it's dark now. But we found her. She wasn't too bad. But I got her right through the bottom of the neck. And it stuck in pretty good. And she carried it a little ways there into the woods a little bit. But, uh, yep. All right. Let's get her back to the processor. There we go. Got one down.